Alright guys, welcome to my uh, sketchbook tutorial. This is Iron Gut, as you might imagine. And uh, I'm going to start out with basically the first of three examples. Uh, the other two will be in other videos, but this is the most high-end example. This is the professional sketchbook that I like to use now. This is sketchbook version 3.0 for me. Um, and let's get right into it. First of all, it is a three ring binder, 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches. So it is a standard half of an 8.5 by 11 size page. Uh, this is a binder that I got at, um, I think it was Staples? Yeah, Staples. Um, and it's great because it is a D ring binder, not just a round binder, but the D rings, the part where it has the flat portion to make it nice and clean. And uh, let's open it up and take a look. So. The first thing you'll notice is about the, uh, when you first open it up, you have blank pages right here and right on the left inside of the uh, pocket pouch here, I have a page with references printed on it. All the references that you need to see uh, from my actual reference sheet to the two best images besides that, right there, ready to go. And uh, yeah, blank pages right here. And this is what's great about the three ring binder is that at any time when somebody makes a sketch once it's done I can just take it out immediately and you have your next blank page there there's no need to worry about covering up the references with the already drawn on page it's easy to change and update on the fly on the go so the first thing you'll notice is that it is tabbed uh, in a sort of way these black dividers right here which I have separating the blank sketch pages, which I have plenty of, from the first section, which is sketches by myself, sketches by Iron Gut, as you can see there. And basically, these are uh, standard pouches that you can buy at any sort of either Amazon.com or any sort of uh, Office Depot thing like that, which care, which I basically cut out all of the previous sketches that I like um, by myself, that is, and put them right in here and easy to update on the go like I said uh, what I can do is very easily on the back here if I have made a sketch that I like once again pop it right out open up the new pouch and put it right in and I can do that easily wherever I am it's all all over here in the sketchbook so tabbed after me after the uh, iron gut is sketches by others as you can read there and it's labeled sketches by others this is sketches by basically everybody else and uh, yeah, you can see sketches by everybody else in here. Same sort of thing, which it's uh, all separated by um, individual pouches here, which I keep a couple blank ones at the end. That way I can easily update it once again. Just pop it out of the front, put it in here, and your sketchbook is updated and on the go. Then, of course, after that you have your final section, which is the commissions and digital printouts. These are all the finished works from those sketches, and I've uh, got tabs as well, separating these into sections, such as the first section, which is uh, starting off with reference sheets and different characters and things like that, information about the characters, and then it goes into some of the more artwork. And basically I've got it separated, as you can see, into separate sections of uh, this one, which I haven't labeled yet because I'm not sure what to, to change that as. Right now it's separating the fat-based stuff from everything else because some people don't like fat for whatever the fuck reason. Uh, then we have the adult section, which I'm not going to show you because it's YouTube. The kinky adult section, kinky 18+. Plus, and then comics after that. As you can imagine, I'm not going to show you any of them as well because they're all also adult. And then after that, right at the end, we have a, another pouch that has printed ref sheets on it that you can very easily, uh, if you're at a convention and you want to get a commission from somebody right there on the spot and, you, and they, you know, are going to take their time with it, you just pop out one of these, hand it to them, and you don't need to leave your sketchbook behind or anything else or worry about, yeah, this is my FA page, and uh, this is the uh, thing that you, this is the submission that you actually want to use for reference. Instead, here it is. Boom, there you go. Go ahead and get to work. Um, now, the reason why you want to, uh, and now I'm going to talk, so that's basically my sketchbook. Now I'm going to talk about why it is the way it is. Um, as you can tell, this is basically going to be your artwork Bible, your your basic your basic character Bible as well. And uh, what you want to do once you've gotten, you know, if you've become an art slut like I am, you want a lot of art and you have a lot of art. You 
don't want to uh, you want to avoid what I'm going to show you that I did for my previous sketchbooks versions one and two because number one it's going to destroy your sketchbook this one is very easy to update very easy to change and modify add things to and you're never gonna run out of space uh, but also you want to avoid having you know a hundred images packaged together in my old sketchbook and I'll show you in version two it was ba it basically had two sections the front half which was all sketches that were done inside of the sketchbook and the back half which was printed out sketches that are printed out finished images that were added to the back and they were not tabbed or anything so it was just a chunk this thick of basically images that people would just go fum, 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 not even looking at them you know skimming through when you have the advantage of having things tabbed is that they can look at what they want they're like oh I don't want to see art by you I want to see what other people have drawn by you and things like that and then of course once again back here they can go oh I don't want to look at adult images or fat images I'm not into that so they just look at the first section and the other sections you know it's easy and it's very very you know it's psychological in that it helps them to want to look through the sketchbook as the whole thing you know and actually spend time because they can see that you've spent time to organize it uh, if that makes any sense you know it's like kind of reciprocation thing it's like oh wow you spent so much time and effort and money on this sketchbook that I feel I need to actually look at it and appreciate it instead of oh this is a piece of shit sketchbook you know or it's like even worse a binder full of loose pages that you're like oh you don't you obviously don't care about you know your shit so I don't care about your shit so meh which is uh which I hate that because it's it's a flimsy psychological principle and it's kind of uh political in that way it's socially manipulative but it is what it is and it achieves your end result plus it's not really all that evil um, <laughs> and that's sketchbook version 3.0 thank you very much for watching guys um, I'll show you I'll show I'll put together an example of sketchbook 2.0 and 1.0 for you later on and I'll have them in other videos this one is going to run you around forty dollars or so to put together the binder itself is only about seven or eight bucks all of the uh, pouches here are going to be about five dollars for twenty five pouches or so if I remember correctly but I'm just pulling that number off of my memory which is not very good um, so basically you're gonna get a bunch of the those you're gonna make yourself some dividers which are gonna cost another five bucks and uh, the most costly thing, as usual, is going to be the printouts, especially if you have them done at a copy and print center and not yourself, uh, which I really recommend because you want it to look really nice. And, uh, yeah. So this is your high-end option for if you really want, if you really care about your character and you want to encourage people to make sketches of you and you want, and you're an art slut and you really, you know, take pride in your character, take pride in your sketchbook and such, this is the way you want to go. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the other book videos. I think. Yeah, that works. Bye.